So there are a couple different types of dysautonomia. The, one of the most common types is POPs, which stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is marked by when you stand up, your heart rate jumps 30 beats or more per minute in a 10 minute period. And a lot of people with this type of dysautonomia also have a blood pressure drop that accompanies it. And this leads to fainting in many cases. And it can also have a multitude of other symptoms, but that's just the main hallmark symptom. Uh, there is also uh, orthostatic intolerance is another type of dysautonomia, which mar is marked by orthostatic hypotension or low blood pressure when standing. You don't necessarily need the heart rate jump with that type, and it tends to have less symptoms outside of that. Um, the next type is pure autonomic failure, which means pretty much every part of your autonomic nervous system is kind of failing. It's one of the more severe types of dysautonomia and can, can be terminal over time. Uh, the last one is familia dysautonomia, which is the rarest and most severe type of dysautonomia. It's the only one that's present at birth and isn't acquired later in life generally. It's always um, acquired at birth. You're born with it. Um, it decreases your life expectancy by a lot. Um, there's now some people living into their 30s with it but and 40s, but that's the most severe.